Guys, hold on, because we are speeding through Better Call Saul. We are here with season three, episode nine, Fall. This is the second to last episode in season three. I feel like we just started Better Call Saul. You guys remember how like I was trying to really not finish Breaking Bad? Like the last episode I was really holding off on because I didn't want to finish the show. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty similar with Better Call Saul. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe it's the descent into Saul Goodman. <laughs> I was like, dramatic effect pause. Did it work? It didn't. Sorry, I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm just really excited to get into the show. If you guys are interested in watching my full length reaction along with me, be sure to check out my Patreon. It does help the channel a ton, and I will be linking that down below in the description. Without further ado, let's continue. Oh god, the next episode's the season finale. Let's continue with Better Call Saul, season three, episode nine, Fall. What's he up to? I always get so happy seeing him. Oh, he's his little kitten cookies. I love that. So cute, so cute, so cute. Oh, we're at Sandpiper. This is Landry. You're looking lovely as ever. Jimmy McGill. I was in the area and I thought, I wonder how my favorite former client is doing. Good morning. That looks just like your Felix. They do. I was afraid you wouldn't be here. Thought with that settlement money, you might have moved somewhere swankier. So the th settlement already happened. You haven't settled yet? No, I don't know all the details yet, but Erin of Davison, Maine. Oh, Erin's handling the case now? Girl, she reminds me of a young Mary Martin. It's a wonderful young lady. Uh. It's a wonderful young lady, not she's a wonderful young lady. But you've received an offer, right? I mean, something more than just Erin and you chatting. Can he be giving legal counsel like this, even though it's off the record? You are welcome to look. I mean, these legal notices, I mean, no one really understands them. Sometimes I can't even, uh... What? Oh, he's... I can't even, uh... What? They dis They gave her a really low offer? You haven't, uh... Like a... Like ridiculous? Accepted this? Aaron says we should wait. Aaron doesn't really matter. That's a big deal. You are the legal stand-in for your friends and neighbors. I just leave it all to the professionals. I don't blame her. She doesn't know any of... She doesn't know about all this. If you won the lottery, I mean, you'd take the lump sum, right? More time to enjoy it. You really should talk to Erin. She knows all the ins and outs. Erin yeah, sure knows those. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she does. I completely forgot I'm on my way to chair yoga. I probably should be going. I have a lot to do. I thought that this meetup was him checking in on his uh, former clients to make sure that he could still have them in a year. Rose, Myrtle, Helen. Oh, he remembers their names. You all look 10 years younger. Oh. You want to come with us? You're welcome to. We can have guests. Oh, that's awesome. I'm not dressed for it. Thanks for the cookies, Jimmy. Bye, Jimmy. Bye. Good to see you. <laughs> right. 17.4 total. 33% is the common fund, so... He cares about his own income. And that's why he wants her to take it. 1,160,000. Holy shit! I thought Jimmy was actually really just concerned about the case and his... And, and solidifying the fact that he's gonna have, like, his former clients still with him. Even though it's not his case anymore, I thought that that's what he was doing, but he just wanted to see how much he was gonna be getting which that's like a different side of jimmy it's more s selfish oh i love that <laughs> the segue it reminds me of job from arrested development that he just rides that damn segway segway everywhere so yeah i actually really did not expect that oh no way no way mr ermichad lydia redart quill oh god we saw her like a, a few episodes ago, but we're back with Lydia. Could I have your driver's license and social security card? How does this hire work exactly? You'll receive a paycheck from Magical in the amount of $10,000 per week. Your employment should be paid out in about 20 weeks. So to that end, I have you down as a logistics consultant. Well, I'm not long on logistics. Security consultant would be better. I used to be a cop. You take my money, you run it through this joint, and it comes out clean, that it? Yes. Who knows this operation? Anyone else? No. I'm concerned about what happens if you put my real name in your books. One thing I know about Germans is they love a good audit. <laughs> that they do. Your money. It's a rounding error. You're a contractor for a multinational corporation with 114,000 employees worldwide. 
You think I'm not on the books? I am, under my own name. This is the way you handled it before? For Fring's other guys? This is the first time I've done this. I don't know what you do, but Mr. Fring must think you're quite good at it. That he is. Mike is a professional. 20 weeks. Can you make a copy of these, please? Thank you. This is a very nice office. Thank you. I love how cautious Mike is. He's not dumb. You seem to be risking a lot for a drug dealer. If that's all you think he is, then you don't know Gustavo Frank. Not yet. I just never expected Mike to... He's so clever, he's so intelligent, to get mixed up with Gus is surprising. And clearly he's not comfortable with really any of this. He's gotta do what he's gotta do. Let me understand you. Hi, You're Howard. proposing to double our premiums on every one of our practicing attorneys. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I like screamed into the mic. We know this is abrupt. Oh, my New issues goodness. have come to light. You mean Mr. McGill's testimony at the bar? That's a part of it, yes. In some special circumstances, we have been known to extend a rider. A senior management level partner who would supervise Charles' work? He's gonna take that so personally. I can think of a dozen infractions right here off the top of my head. You're hoping we'll either find another carrier or cut you an enormous check. Neither is going to happen. You're going to do right by us or we will compel you to do so. What do you mean by compel? Com that sounds like a threat. If you're threatening litigation, I'm afraid this meeting is over. Then it's over. He's threatening litigation. He just got threatened by a really good lawyer to be sued. They have every leg to stand on though, Chuck. You can't really be throwing that. Chuck, do you remember Al McConnell? Hell of a litigator. Retired now, isn't he? He's a professor. And he mentioned he'd love you to come speak to his one else. Maybe make it a regular thing. What are you talking about, Howard? Maybe it's time to hang up your spurs. <gasps> he wants him to resign. Partner emeritus. Leave your name on the firm, but focus on your legacy. And no longer be a practicing lawyer. Chuck, there's more to life than this. That day is far in the future, Howard, and I don't appreciate the suggestion. What if it's not a suggestion? Meaning if enough people tell you that you're drunk, Maybe it's time to sit down. Oh, snap! <gasps> so this is about my condition. See? Howard, I'm fine! He, he feels this bad This is not for what him. fine looks like. That sentence hurt. That delivery was strong. But your decision-making has become unpredictable. I can't be partners with someone whose judgment I don't trust. Wow, all of this must be like a gut punch. Over and over and over again to Chuck. Howard was the only one that has really stood by Chuck in its in his in its entirety, and Howard's given up. He's like, enough is enough. All of my wells are square on the Texas side. After some extraction, the west wall of the Salt Dome gave way, opening up another pool that extends what 100 yards over the border. Yeah. And now you have New Mexico rights holders to deal with. Completely flat. Look at that. As far as the eye can see, except for the mountains on the other side. No equipment crosses the border. No, ma'am. Only on the Texas side. That's not stopping New Mexico for trying to bleed me. You don't negotiate a lease with the rights holders. You offer to pay them damages for diminishing their resource, but without paying for the rights themselves. So, kind of a payoff. Then you don't get hit with the taxes. If someone came to me with this offer, I'd sure as hell take it. I wish I'd called you sooner. Kim is a genius. I love her. If I don't get this thing wrapped up by the end of the quarter, I'm pretty sure the tax boy is going to take me apart. And that's two weeks from now. Not a lot of time. I can do it by then. If we can get all the rights holders in one place, I can walk them through what we're proposing. If they're smart, they'll go for it. Clever. Kevin said you're a miracle worker. I didn't believe him. Let me work that miracle first, then we'll talk. I love how she's so clever and Kim is a real professional. She's got a bright future ahead of her. Billy Gatwood meeting. Holders. Oh, she's stuck. Can she even do that? Is that considered like going over the border? And it's a tool? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! The drill! The tr Ooh, ah! Oh god. I don't know what the purpose of the scene was, but it, it was intense. Continuing notes from Gatwood Oil Meeting. Begin scheduling. I don't know what the purpose of that um what that of that scene was. I guess shows that she's kind of like off her game and that she's really tense. A lot's going on. What are you doing here, Jimmy? We have business to discuss. Is this about Chuck? Who? Sandpiper. It's time to settle. I, I saw the current offer. The clients make their losses back, plus a solid chunk of change. But we project a final number far higher than the current offer. HHM nets a few million. You know, you're screwing the clients for your own benefit. 
So now you're worried about the clients. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. Please. Howard's seeing right through Jimmy. All you care about is your share of the payout. Yep. It's like talking to Gollum. <laughs> you did not. Not even Schmeagol. You want a handout? Oh, Here. that's an insult. Next time, why don't you bring a tin cup? <laughs> settle this and settle it now. It's in everyone's best interest. It's Meaning it's in your best interests. What are you going to do? Leak some insider info to Schweikert? I know you're low enough to do something like that, but you're too damn greedy. You'll get your damn money. You're just going to have to wait for it. Oh, okay. This time, I actually side with Howard on it. And I like that he saw through Jimmy's thing. Jimmy should at least be honest. That's the very least he could do. Because it's clear that he's only in it for himself at the moment. And I, I respect Howard for seeing through that. How do you feel about that, Hector? Clearly not too happy. All right. Don Hector, yo nunca pedí esto. No lo quiero. Oh, the pill, the pill. But how are you going to get the pills away from him and switched back if he's going to be hospitalized? Like, people are going to be with him every step of the way. He's not going to be alone at this point. A la chingada. Con el bolsa y contigo. No, you didn't respect anyone, but like, if any of them heard what you said for Gus, you'd be. What is the plan here, Jimmy? Oh, he, he knows. It's 7 a.m. Peak hour for the, the elderly to. To take over the mall. It's mall takeover at like, for, as soon as the mall opens, it's filled with the elderly. I don't know why, but I, I'm glad to see that it's universal. Jimmy, Jimmy, you're a mall walker. I have no idea. <laughs> There's a Me? word for oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> mall walker. I got the cure right here. Pow. Well, they 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 look comfortable. I bought a pair for my girlfriend, and they don't fit her. And the store has this. When you know it, no refunds. What size are you? How does that feel? Oh, look how happy she is, though. They are so nice and they fit like a dream. I can't take these for free, Jimmy. One thing you could do for me? Don't tell the other folks I gave them to you. I don't want to look like I'm playing favorites. Oh, thank I'll see you. you later. Thank you so much, Jimmy. What'd you do with her other shoes? And the truth is, if Irene settles, you'd get some money. On the other hand, I did get a look at their offer, but it's, uh... Maybe Irene just doesn't need the money. I mean, I don't know for a fact, but... He's turning the others against her? They're gonna be like, no, let's take it? When you see someone buying nice new things... Like those shoes. That's the lawyer's share of the settlement, and your share is this much. If Irene holds out, the lawyers get this much more. And you are going to get this much more. But that's how it works. It's crazy, but it's Jimmy, all up to Irene. One third more is a significant amount, I'd say. This means in the eyes of the court, she's special. You can't do anything. Only Irene. They're going to have a conversation with her to take it. They're ostracizing her. Ladies! Wait, that's so sad. Ladies! They're ignoring her and they're speeding up. I don't like that they're stonewalling her like that. She looks so sad. She doesn't understand why they don't like her. What Jimmy's doing is messed up. Look, he's like, it's emotionally upsetting her. Like he's, she's upset and she's probably hurting and doesn't know what's going on. And he orchestrated this just to get a payday. Got kicked out. It's good that he told his dad. He gave him a heads up. So his dad was aware that he was working for Hector at one point. Sorry, subpoenas. Oh, great. Let me know that. What's up? From Chuck. It came via messenger. Call around. Find some place special for the retirement party. Let's set it up. I thought he was going to be suing him or something. Yup, he's, 
He's not playing into it. What is it? You're suing Hamlin, Hamlin, McGill. Uh, of course he was going to go and sue him. Here we go. That's <laughs> that's Chuck's Hail Mary. You turn the lights on. I'm back to normal. And yes, I am suing HHM. This is my firm. I built it. Your father was working in a two-room office when I joined him. If you can't trust my judgment, as you say, so be it. But you're going to have to pay me for my share. Eight million dollars? We both know the firm doesn't have the money. You'd rather tear down HHM than retire. Do you think I'm trouble now as your partner? Imagine me as your enemy. Chuck is very vindictive. That's what I don't like about his character. Is He is vindictive and, um... If you'd like to discuss this further, we can in court. And I don't want anyone saying, oh, this is exactly what Chuck should have done. No. And everybody would do it. No, not everybody would do that. Put yourself in your, those shoes. You wouldn't do that. You would understand. You would work it out. You don't immediately go to threaten people. You don't use force. Blue pot, red wine, black burner, blue pot. You don't use force to get your way. That's not how you get through life. It just says a lot about your character. And I can't stand people with that, those kinds of characters, those characteristics and their personality. There is no way you are rigging. Who rigs bingo? This is like an old person's worst nightmare. I got hot hands. I know this is gonna I'm be. he's able to host again after the last, his freak out last time. Okay, what's next? Bet you do too. They're so catty. Just communicate. Just talk to her. Be like, hey, we're a little Here bit. Comes um, we're feeling the type of way. What's this? We feel like you're not making the right decision, so can we talk about it? Why is everyone so petty? Oh, 70, anyone? Oh, 70. G55. Bingo! I got bingo! Oh, bingo. oh he's really pumped about it. Wow, he loved that. That man was screaming his excitement. Paul! Let's give him a big round of applause! Nice! All right, take your cards so we can start a new game. Hey, Irene, you feeling lucky today? I guess so. Well, here's one on me. I sold my soul for B-I-N-G-N-O. <laughs> I love his charisma. Irene looks so lonely. You did this, Jimmy. Loaded up. Locked and loaded. She didn't see that? She was standing right there. First number up. N31! N for Nancy! 48 for Dewey defeats True! I-25! B12! Like the vitamin! Oh, 67! I, I... I think bingo! She's a sweetheart. Irene! Come on up here! Dear, bring it up to Kelly! And Let's they're even more jealous. Up. Oh, they're, they're throwing in the towel on Bingo. They're like, Irene cannot win. I just want to give her a big old hug. It is a Bingo for Irene. Give it up for the big winner, Irene Landry. Fastest Bingo of the night. Come on, let's hear it for Irene. So everyone knows what she's doing. <laughs> Irene. Okay, time for a new game. Jimmy orchestrated all this. He's emotionally abusing an elderly woman. I'd say by association, because he orchestrated this. They've all turned on me. Who has? Helen, Rose, Myrtle, all of them. And I don't even know why. I think uh, maybe I do. Could it be the settlement? Maybe they want the money? I had no idea any of them needed money. I mean, maybe it's the idea that they don't think you're considering them? I don't want to hurt them. They're my friends. What should I do? I mean, you know I'm not a lawyer right now. Should I settle? This is the question he has been waiting for. Irene, you listen to your heart. Uh, time? Two hours out. When did I say I was going to leave? 20 minutes ago. Hey, who's ready to have her life changed? Oh, it's alcohol? I thought it was like a a bag of chocolate or something i got big big news can you just tell us later jimmy was that that wait is that that really expensive tequila i got zafiro i'm sorry jimmy can i just explain all of this to you later i'm sandpiper is settling for a bundle 
They can't be settling. Class actions don't move that fast. Trust me. You know he's doing something. Who's got two thumbs, a bottle of Zafiro, and 20% of the common fund? Uh -huh. This guy. This is the solution to everything. For you, you, not Could you just for put these him. on Kim, give me five goddamn minutes. I don't have Jeez. five minutes. But you're already late. You're not respecting her time. I'll be back in a few hours. Think of all the things you want to say to me and just say them to me later, okay? She has a lot on her plate. <clears throat> you wanted the money, but she wanted this job. This is her dream. <clears throat> Respect that. Shots. Uh, She's I... on the Shots. job. It's like I need to celebrate with someone. Cheers. Smooth. <laughs> <laughs> Under the terms we're offering, you get a substantial payment. We believe... We believe this offer is more than fair. Oh no! Oh, she's overworking herself. Okay, that scared me. Um, oh, the blood on the airbag. Because she pulled an all-nighter, she fell asleep at the wheel. I can't keep working like this. so i feel like this episode was definitely going to be a turning point for kim um either in her work ethic or her really not prioritizing herself and her own health i hope that she's okay because she was holding her arm you know there was blood on the the airbag <laughs> it's like what's the word so i really do hope that she's okay and she's probably bummed that she probably like lost that client because there was such a hard, harsh deadline. I feel like we're seeing uh, an evolution of Jimmy. He clearly is only out for himself, for making a paycheck, and he orchestrated a situation to where a elderly woman feels ostracized by her friends in her living community. I feel like Chuck is, his vindictive nature is coming out more and more. And I get it, he feels like he's been, um, he feels like he's been singled out, he feels like he's been targeted and kind of been like, you can't kick me out of my own business, even though he actually hasn't done anything for the business other than cause problems. He wants what he wants, and he doesn't care who he's going to step over to get it. I really don't like that that kind of was Chuck's Hail Mary. I feel nervous about that, so we're gonna see how it goes. began to be frightened. In a minute or two, she heard the howl again. That's I Chuck oh! reading to Jimmy as kids? A long, wild cry. Because it sounds like Chuck's voice. Is she going to be okay? Be fine, Jimmy. How do you know? Just listen. You'll see. He has Chuck's mannerisms. Oh, there's a lantern. So dark that she stumbles into the bushes. Okay. That kid did a really good job with Chuck's mannerisms and his voice, like how he was talking. That was great casting. That was impressive. Oh my God, it's so much worse than I thought it was. Mm, Kim, girl. Her foot's broken? Oh no, her arm. Kim, I know. Does she need to spend the night? Once this is done, she'll be discharged. And I love that Jimmy took it upon himself to get the paperwork for Kim. He really does dedicate himself wholeheartedly to the ones he loves. I wonder how they took it that she got into an accident and couldn't make the thing. I hope they weren't too upset with her. For him to be on the other side of the table. It must feel so crazy. And that he knows how they all feel about them. This is a situation no firm ever wants to be in. It's, well, it's embarrassing. His condescending tone and threats, I can't stand them. So what are our options? Take it to trial. Extremely damaging for HHM's reputation. The firm could choose to buy me out for an amount that expensive. is almost certain to bankrupt it. I don't want to be the agent of its destruction. You don't care. There is a third option. You... There is no reason we can't put all this unpleasantness behind us. You already crossed a line you can't come back from. And if you agree, I think we can settle all this right now with a simple handshake. Would you all give us the room for a moment? Howard's gonna tear Chuck a new one. Oh, okay, I cannot wait for this. <gasps> now everyone's against Chuck. Can't be acting this way, buddy. 17 years. All those years. We built this place together. 
in all that time, I've supported you. Because I always thought you had the best interest of the firm in mind. Mm -hmm. I have. Mm, you have. did. Past tense. But you've let personal vendettas turn your focus away from what's best for HHM. That's what I was saying! And the moment that I mildly suggest that maybe it's time for you to consider retirement, the first instinct you have is to sue me? That's what I'm s- that's what I'm saying! Yes! In what world is that anything but the deepest betrayal of our friendship? Howard, I could argue that you're the one who betrayed me. That's bullshit. Mm-hmm. It and is. you know it. He's clearly hurt. Howard is really hurt. Here. Just take this. Three million dollars. The first of three payments as per the partnership agreement. The firm can't afford this. You're not shutting down, are you? I would never endanger the firm. This is mostly oh, for my personal funds and a few loans. You're paying me out of your own pocket. You won. Howard looks so hurt. I'm so bad for him. That's devastating. The look on Howard's face told There's him. one last thing. That was words. He's saying goodbye to HHM. Howard took a real surprise. Everybody! I really respect Thank him. Thank you for gathering. Our fearless leader, Charles McGill, will be leaving HHM, effective immediately. We started off with six employees, and Chuck helped grow us into one of the largest firms in the state. Do you have anything you want to say? Chuck, you can't actually be mad. Let's give him a hand. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. The only thing he did, he, um, he thought Howard was bluffing. And then he proceeded to threaten Howard. And all Howard did was continue with what he said he was going to do. Chuck didn't have to play these games, but he wanted to. Oh my god, you cannot push this authoritative, like, aggressive stance and just will your wants onto other people. Like, this was- oh, he really got got. That was great. Morning. Close. You need electrolytes. You hungry? Be right back. Just finish that. I love how much Jimmy, like, cares about his loved ones. It's really heartwarming. I said I'd bring it to you. I need to stretch my legs. This is, uh, twisted. Oh, thanks. And I assume she's a righty, so she can't even write. Is there coffee? That's, uh, more Gatorade first. That's gonna dehydrate you, hon. Good old ibuprofen or the proverbial good stuff. Go for neat. Ibuprofen or not. The answer is always the good stuff. Oh, oh, I, I had the wrong answer, apparently. I remember when I had my lung collapse, they gave me, like, Oxycontin. And I just, I, I didn't take it. Like, I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not risking that. You're not feeding me, Jimmy. She's gotta learn. The lines we do not cross. Okay, but what if he, like, mama birds you the food? He just chews it for you. I was looking into our lease on the office, um, but we are allowed to sublet. For you, I think you need a desk, some file cabinets, a Westlaw terminal. I haven't figured out Francesca yet. Are you sure about this? After, uh, everything, I don't give a shit about the office. Here's about her. I could have killed someone, Jimmy. Yeah, yourself. I crossed three lanes of traffic and I don't remember any of it. She's so lucky that she didn't hit anyone. Because of me. You didn't make me get in that car, that was all me. I'm an adult. I made a choice. I am gonna fix things. He doesn't know how, but he's gonna he's gonna make it work. Here we go. I hope Nacho's dad is gonna handle this well. Hector is such a brute. I don't know how the pills haven't affected him yet. I thought that after his like heart issue, after taking the pill, I didn't think it was gonna help him. We can break down the stuff in here. You should be able to process everything overnight. Where's the uh, poppy? You don't need to know. I'd be taking care of all this. Everything is clear. Here's poppy. Somewhat disrespectful or like not to uh, Hector's liking. And Hector's gonna um. This is my papa Manuel, papa Hector Salamanca. He's not happy about this, and Hector loves it. Relájate! Somos amigos! You can't buy him. That is not a man that you can buy. Mejor. Por favor. <gasps> Don't! Why is it me to Mi papá, no sé si respetuoso. Nacho's really trying to smooth things over. Papá. He is so pissed. Look at his face! Piensa en Tia Rosa y las gemelas. La familia de mamá en Galeana.
This is gonna get things so much worse. He's old fashioned, he'll come around. And Hector, I'll talk to him. I don't trust him. Oh no. <gasps> That's a death sentence for him. These are from Kevin and Paige. You brought the book? Um, sure. Mr. Gatwood, I'm pretty sure you're getting stakes too. <laughs> really? He wishes you a speedy recovery. Seems very like him. I used to drive that highway every weekend to visit my brother and his kids, and I saw an accident almost every single time. People die on that road. Not something Kim wants to hear, to be honest. I, I already rescheduled everything you had this week. I talked with Colleen, and she said everyone's fine doing that meeting Monday, so we could still slide in. Francesca's so Just good. Just under the desk. She's coming in clutch. Did you bring a breakdown of the documents I'll need for next Wednesday? I would, I would have to figure out. Yep. She's so great. What? Found it. Here you go. She's not gonna do it. She gives up, I think. Kim, you okay? I, I can always come back. I'm gonna need you to cancel, Gatwood, and push everything else. But first, could you give me a ride? What? And, and she feels terrible about this, but with her accident and the recovery... She's gonna take a break! She is very sorry, and I know she'll be giving you a call herself soon. Blockbuster! What a throwback! She strongly recommends Swicart and Coakley. They're an exceptional firm. Thanks for the meet. Uh, and, and she says thank you for the steaks. She just needs to relax, and she clearly will be. Okay, we visiting Chuck. What's going on here? Where are we? <laughs> visiting Chuck. Let's see how it goes. I know you don't want to see me, but uh, I just want to know you're okay. He still has a soft spot. Come on, Chuck. I just want to see your face. I'm all right, Jimmy. Uh, can I come in? Let's talk for a minute. I wonder why they use the side entrance rather than the front. What a dark home. As you can see, I'm more than all right. I'm very well, in fact. How? I don't know why people I put up fronts. I always told you I'd get better. You just never me? believed me. Like, what is the purpose of putting up fronts rather than just being honest? This is great. What was it you wanted? I mean, I'm not saying it's all on me. If I had to do it all over again, I would maybe do some things differently. You have regrets? Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> you're my brother. Because family is important, Chuck. Why have regrets at all? What's the point? You're in so much pain. Why are you putting yourself through all this? You're just going to keep hurting people. That's not true. Jimmy, this is what you do. And then there's this show of remorse. It's not a show. I know you don't think it's a show. I don't doubt your emotions are real. If you're not going to change your behavior, in the end, you're going to hurt everyone around you. So stop apologizing and accept it. He's like pushing Jimmy to the dark side. What about you, Chuck? You didn't do anything wrong? We don't have to understand each other. But you're brothers. Things are fine the way they are. They're clearly not if Jimmy's not happy. Are you? Can you, with certainty, say you're okay, Chuck? I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, yes, you do. But the truth is, you've never mattered all that much to me. Horrible, horrible thing to say. My heart just dropped. After everything Jimmy has done for you, you are despicable. Chuck, you are evil. You're horrible. You're just projecting your own misery onto him. That's... That's... That's gonna stick to Jimmy, but... That's also it's gonna ch stick to me, so I... Gold comforter. Green chair. Brown journal. I'm actually still in awe that he said that to his brother, who was spending years to take care of him. <clears throat> Where are, your, where are your feelings, Chuck? How do you have none? I thought what he was saying, he kind of had a leg to stand on with like, what's the point of feeling remorse? Like, just, you know, what's the point? You're in the situation, like keep moving forward. But then he started just attacking Jimmy's character saying that you're just always gonna hurt people. Forget this sh charade, these shenanigans. That was the last straw for Jimmy, I think. And Chuck is reverting too.
It's hard to feel sorry for him when he's so mean. To anyone that cares about him, Howard, Jimmy, they've always been in his corner and he just like does things to insult them, insult their intelligence, their character. What a nice surprise. Irene, as beautiful as ever. What is all this? Well, when we win, we celebrate. You shouldn't have, Jimmy. Of course I should. Have you given any thought to how you want to spend that settlement money? Uh, European river cruise. Float on down the Danube. I bet you and the happy. ladies could split a deluxe suite. That sounds very nice, but I don't think they'd really want to. They're still upset. You can't let one little misunderstanding destroy years of friendship. When it came to that settlement, we were the furthest things from her mind. It just took her a bit to realize what was important to you. She just wanted to get back on our good side. It's Jimmy's fault. Well, I can't help but blame myself. I stuck my nose in where it didn't belong and I stirred the pot. If you want to blame someone, you should blame me. Jimmy, you're a good friend. She doesn't deserve you. Jimmy, you gotta fix this somehow. This is her whole life. Yes, I've, I've shut off all the breakers. The power meter is still turning. Well, I, I want you to send someone over to find it and disconnect it. Wednesday. I can't wait that long. Are you sure there's nothing sooner? Wednesday, then. It just feels like everybody's down in the dumps and it's just getting worse and worse. Except for Kim. I mean, she's taking some well-deserved time. So yeah, every single character is just going through it right now. Honestly, what Chuck said is, I think, always gonna, always gonna stick with me. That is a disgusting thing to say about someone who truly loves and cares about you. And you know how much you affect them. Back. How many lights does this man have in his house that he, he needs a, a box that big? for all the light bulbs, and they filled the box. That's so many. Yes, hello, this is Charles McGill. I have a three o'clock with Dr. Cruz today, and I'm not able to come in today. No need to reschedule, I'll just see you next week. He's going back. He's not gonna try and get treatment. I was really proud of destroying his house he's absolutely destroying his whole house <laughs> you can't help but sympathize with him he's not well With how much work he's been getting done, that man can work in a construction company. Like, this is crazy. He tore his beautiful house to pieces. Trying to chase an electrical current that probably is something so much simpler than he knows, than he realizes. I feel like you shouldn't be doing that in case there was an electrical current. Now he just has exposed wires out. Cool.
got my message. Yeah. You strapped? They're coming. I love that Nacho is so incredibly confused. And it, this was just a case of right place at the right time. Don Hector, Don Eladio wanted me to speak with you. There will be only one route over the border for our product, the chicken trucks. So this is not happening. What's he doing here? The boss wants you to settle this. The boss can suck me. Okay, so I'd you're watch fired. What I say if I were you. Yeah. Who you think you are? Who do you think you are? Me and my family, we built this old business. Salamanca did. That Hacienda, I pay for it. He's so entitled, it's crazy. Oh, 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 he's having a heart attack. <laughs> so the pills are working. <gasps> Call 911. Stash the guns. No way Gus is gonna be the one to save his life. You should not be here when they arrive. No temueros come on. I saw the garage at the corner of that. I cannot believe that Gus is gonna be the reason that Hector lives. The irony! <laughs> Does he have a history of cardiac issues? Yeah. And was he taking any medication? He took these. Thanks. I'm surprised he gave her the pills. I figured he would just like say what they're called. Gus knew. He's clever. And even from the last episode, he noticed the pills. Hey. Hey. Oh, dip, dip it in the sauce. Seems like overkill. Trust me. She's healing well. Mm. So what's next? Uh, Monty Python. Or we could just watch To Kill a Mockingbird again. Never seen that. Yeah, I watched it this morning. It was my favorite when I was a kid. All the girls were in love with Gregory Peck. Well, a little, but I wanted to be him. Fight the good fight, change the world. Didn't you? <laughs> that was more Chuck's thing. I am. I'm changing the world by helping a mid-sized local bank become a mid-sized regional bank. One small step. Pretty sizable step, actually. No luck with Miss Landry. Uh, there's no putting that genie back in the bottle. I sent muffin baskets to the gals. I signed them from her. They saw right through it. Oh, Jimmy, you're too nice. Jimmy, she doesn't deserve you. I'm not good at building shit. You know, I'm excellent at tearing it down. Don't feed into Chuck's whole perspective of you. Mockingbird Encore does. Jimmy has no complaints. No. Mrs. Landry. You figured it out? Yeah. What? But I really, really don't want to do it. Don't take the plea. I mean, don't take the deal. She's all alone. Jimmy. Oh, okie dokie. I know that many of you are expecting <laughs> Sandy, but her daughter has a cold. The nice folks in front said I could sit in. Let's wake up those spines with a cat-cow position. Cat, and then cow. Should I be doing this? I'm in a chair. I don't feel like doing it. I'm just gonna... And cat. Mr. McGill? Aaron Brill, you're just in time. For chair yoga. Classic Aaron. I need to talk to you. Now, Mr. McGill. What, Aaron? What? I could not figure out why on earth Mrs. Landry would suddenly change her mind about the Sandpiper settlement. So that you filled her head and all of her friends' heads with lies. You drastically misrepresented the reality of the case. You took advantage of poor Mrs. Landry. Does she know how much money you're gonna make from this? Nope. So what? <gasps> These people trusted you, Jimmy. That was the plan all along. Oh no, he's just making himself look worse. Damn right they trust me. I worked my ass off earning their trust. If the only thing standing between me and a million bucks is some old lady's tears, then I suggest investing in Kleenex. There's no way he actually believes this. Besides, not like she's got that much time left anyway. He is just twisting the knife. <sighs> and now he knows what he did. I don't see a lot of forward folding. Come on, girls. Shame on you. But he did it to bring them back together. He knew to do what was right, even though it incriminates himself. It tears himself down and what he wants. So, she'll go back on the settlement. I imagine you'll hear from her within an hour or so. Well done in there. I meant every word I said. I'm surprised Aaron was in on it. You know, 
Thank you. Okay, I'll meet you guys there in about an hour. We'll unload. Time to say goodbye to his dream. I'm real sorry that this didn't work out. It's fine. I already talked to my old supervisor. It looks like they can take me back, so. If we ever get another office up, I, he'd be our first call. Yeah. Bye, Kim. Oh, bye. I love how creative they get with the shots. Like, displays the entire space. It's nice. Hey, why'd you do that? Because no seniors come within 20 feet of me ever again. It's pointless. They're smearing my name across a tri-state area, sending telegrams. <laughs> you never know. I feel like that's, it's a that's good wall. foreshadowing that I can't put my finger on. We'll get another. A better wall. I feel bad because this really was Jimmy's dream. This is all he wanted and he had to give it up. Let's go home. You gotta make sacrifices sometimes. But greater and better things are coming, I hope. What's happening? What is he doing? He destroyed his own. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's just kicking? Is he trying to- Is he trying to knock over the lantern? Is he trying to knock over the lantern? It's a fire hazard! Chuck, no. Dude, no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I knew it. There, there's always some crazy cliffhanger like that. Oh my god, I didn't know it was that bad. So this definitely changes things because it's crazy that Jimmy used that the the lantern being on a stack of newspapers as it's a danger to Chuck. And that's exactly what Chuck is trying to use as his as a way that he unalives himself. Um, and it makes me feel bad that I ever said like bad, not bad things about Chuck, but like called him out for his stuff. Because I just didn't know he was that bad. Like he was clearly very sick. I just didn't think he was that bad. And it's just so ironic that he used the, the lantern concept that, you know, Jimmy pointed out and used in court. And Hector's gonna survive, we know that. And it's crazy that Gus is the one to save him. Like, that's crazy to me. Because, <laughs> you know, you know why. Um, I, I, I can't make any comments because I really don't know how it's gonna go down. But I'm anxious, I'm gonna go sit down. But thank you guys so much for watching season three with me. We will be continuing with season four, so don't worry. Um, but thank you for being on this journey with me. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.